Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel with Our Crafty Playdate, and today, well actually last night, I received my box from the new upcoming Spring Occasions Catalog from Stampin' Up! So it will be the 2018 Occasions Catalog, and I'm so excited, but I didn't want to open it without you. So I almost couldn't sleep all night, but I wanted to quickly open it with you and make a video. So don't do this with your snips. Um, use, you know, something far less valuable than that for you, but I thought we could open it together. So All right, let's see what we've got here. Whoa. Are you excited? I know, I know, me too. All right, let's see. I'm going to shift stuff around here, so we're going to bounce around a little on the table, and I'm going to apologize for that, but I don't want you to miss anything. How's that? Okay, it's going to work for us. Ugh. It's a little heavy because even though I promised to myself I wouldn't go crazy right away, I did. I went crazy right away. Oh, and did I mention, I know, open the box already. Did I mention that it's also going to be celebration? So January through March will be celebration when this catalog is active. And as a demonstrator with Stampin' Up, you can pre-order from the Occasions catalog right now, but you can also select um, some, some celebration items. So you're gonna see some of those too. I can't show you the catalogs, but I can show you the outsides. Oh. So I do check everything in as it comes in, and I will do that later because I just cannot wait at all. Okay, uh, let's just start here. This is Brusho Crystal Color. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. So we are going to pop a couple of these things open so you can see them. I know you're you're just looking beyond it. You're saying, wait, I don't get that, get that out of the way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you. Look at this. So it does these super super cool effects on paper um, and I cannot wait wait to start playing with it I will be playing with it on videos for you but I will also be playing with it in classes so um, if you live in the local Chicagoland area definitely check out my schedule on my meetup website which I will list here also and you can see what kinds of classes I'm holding okay oh, this is fun this is a navy I'm just going to cut everything open here. This is a navy corduroy ribbon. So it's super soft. Oh, good. Oh, that's going to bow really well. All right. So that is super handsome. Um, going to be nice for fall, but it's also going to be awesome for Father's Day, which is kind of what I was thinking. This is bottles and bubbles framelits, and it goes with the stamp set. So I'm going to set that aside until we can find the stamp set along with this one sliding door. I'll see if I can pull them in when it happens, when I find them. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so this is scattered sequins embossing folder. Can you see that? How cute is that going to be on a birthday card? You could make it look like they're falling from the sky or collecting. So cute. All right. Celebrating you, thinlets. Celebrate you, thinlets. These might be the celebration ones. I'm going to have to double check that. Two more embossing folders. These are going to be really nice for um, borders on your cards. So I'm thinking you could do some pretty cool things with that. Or look at that, down the side of a card, down the band of the card, it's gonna be really pretty. All right, Magical Mates Framlet. Don't even remember that one, but I'm very excited about it. Oh, look at this. Okay, these are new glitter, clear glitter epoxy shapes. So you've got some here that look like raindrops. Remember that. And then you've got some that are like little beadies, and they're higher profile. Can you tell? No. Um, they're higher profile, but they feel great, and they're still going to be able to be mailed. And if I haven't shown you what you need to do to be mailed as opposed to um, having to pay extra postage, I will show that in my next video, I promise. Some more ribbons. Oh, this one is currently in the catalog. I was just running out. This one is new. Let's see if I can cut open without cutting the ribbon. There we go. This is a <clears throat> white sheer orgy. Oh, I love it. Okay, I wasn't sure how this was going to be because it was, um, because, you know, you never know. When you look at the catalog, sometimes it's hard to tell. Let's see what it looks like in a little bow. Did you see how I did that, everybody? So always hold the knot when you're going to tighten your bow. <coughs> Sorry. Coughed right on you. 
Look how cute that's going to be in a bow. Oh, so cute and romantic for Valentine's Day. Adorable. All right. This, I don't know. This might be in the regular catalog. I'm not sure. I get so excited sometimes when I'm ordering from the spring catalog, but I'm also going through and getting things that I'm, oh, no, I don't think so. If it is, I don't have it. Okay, it's mini and it's kind of striped. That's nice. That is Lemon Lime Twist. And it is three-eighths of an inch. Okay, so that'll give you an idea of the thickness. This is Rainbow Builder Framelits. And look, going to be the cutest card. And it has this framelit too. So you could do a little cloud over the rainbow. And do you remember those raindrops I was talking about? How cute. You could put little raindrops above your rainbow on your cloud, coming out of your cloud. So cute. All right, so that's a set. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. Picture Perfect Birthday. Adorable. This is a two-step. This is a kind of a weird looking thing, but it is a two-step bow. So it'll make it look 3D on your paper. Very cute. And I loved this stamp. This is the reason that I bought it. Today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you. So some of you may be getting that birthday card from me. Father's Day stamp that I thought would be outstanding with that ribbon, but you know what? It goes with something else. Where is that? Look at that. Oh, I'll just drop it for you. Can you see that? That is the punch that coordinates. So that's going to be a great Father's Day set coming up. And that punch is just going to be so handy for labels. I know. You want to see this because I've got it out. Okay, so this is the Aprons of Love. And yes, you asked for it. Matching framelit so you can make an apron card um, and put little stuff sticking out of the pockets. And they're pop-up. They're framelits. So you're going to be able to do a lot of stuff. Um, and I love stamping. How cute is that? You could do a little Stampin' Up Stampin' Apron. Or I love baking. So it'll work for both my daughter and myself. Nice. Remember when I showed you the sliding door framelits? This is what it matches to. You can actually make this door slide on little hinges with the framelits across your card. So it could be an open door and you could see maybe a field in the background. Um with the stamps here or you slide it over the stamps and it's closed. It's super cute. So we'll definitely play with that. This is one of the celebration stamp sets and it's a two-step stamp and I just thought this was just so romantic. Uh, lots of lavender. Do a soft washed lavender here. Soft washed purple here. Maybe um, okay I can't think of the color that I'm thinking of right now. That's so crazy. Perfect plum. There we go. Maybe perfect plum here and old olive for the leaves. Two-step. So very nice. Two-step stamps have just gotten a whole lot easier. Uh, the Stamparatus has just come out. The L to L team that I'm, leader to leader team that I'm a part of with Stampin' Up helped design the Stamparatus project. And it is the coolest tool that helps you do stamps. It comes this way and then down over the top and you can do two-step stamps. You can take them out, the plates out, flip them over. Do a whole nother card. You are going to love it, but you have to get in line for it because it's only by reservation only at this point. Go to my website right here and check it out. Uh, that's only through December 30th to reserve it. Otherwise, you have to wait till the new catalog comes out in, in, uh, in the summer. Amazing You. This is another stamp set that goes with the celebration frameless. Is this, this is the one that I think it goes with. Let's open it. Okay, so this is a celebration item too. This is, and so is this. And this framelit set is very awesome words. So it says celebrate you and amazing. <laughs> Hard to tell like this, but amazing this way, or you or celebrate, and you could do celebrate you know with the words you or amazing you or you are simply amazing in framelits it's gonna be such a great combination and you're gonna use these words all year long um, these aren't just a celebration thing and they don't only have to be they don't only have to be birthdays think about it you could do that for graduation it would be great for even Christmas with that celebrate and that's celebration so this is another celebration. Peacock, it's a two-step also. Going to be awesome with the Stamparatus. Get your Stamparatus or you're going to be sad when all your friends have it. This is Fruit Basket. Okay, so this was my splurge 
by, I loved it when I saw it, but I thought, oh, am I going to really use it? I am because it has little itty bitty matching fruit punches. Oh, fruit punch. That's funny. Okay. So there's a pineapple and a little wedge for a lemon or a watermelon, a pear and a strawberry. And look how adorable. And you can put them in the little basket. I'm so excited. That's going to be cute. Beautiful day. Okay. I thought this would be awesome with the brush show. And that's going to be fun to, to play with. But also, um, black and then heat embossed and then colored with the new markers, are, that's also going to be very fun. So we're going to play with that, I'm sure. Oh, bubble over. Okay, so remember how I showed you the framelits at the beginning? The bubble, bubble bottles and bubbles. That's these framelits here. And they are going to match these shapes so that you can make a little 3D bottle. Going to be cute for all kinds of teenage birthdays or have a birthday brew is going to be great for um, men because you know flower cards are wonderful but sometimes we need a card that's not a flower so that's nice that we have a couple. Um, a good day. So this is going to be super cute and I saw this done with the rainbow framelits and that's why I had to have it and it coordinates with that punch. So that is a tiny tiny little scallop circle punch that coordinates with this and as you remember we had scallop circle punches but they retired and I've been super sad but the cool thing about these is the scallops are actually smaller and closer together so it's going to be a fun little difference this is a I already had it all right oh these are celebration items so this is a pack of note cards and envelopes for celebration it's one of the celebration things you can choose. Uh, Picture per Perfect Party Classic Stampin' Spots. So these are ink spots that match the party stuff. <sighs> Hope your day is magical. You are one of a kind. I just thought, my daughter had a princess party. Wouldn't that be so fun? And that coordinates with some paper. Oh, here's the birthday paper. Isn't that great? It's great picture birthday paper. So the back side is not photo. And the front sides of these are photo. Do you want to see? I know you do. Hold on. Sometimes I find that in our catalogs, it's hard for me to get a real idea about the papers. So let's just take a quick gander. Oh, that's cute. That looks like confetti strip stuff. Balloons and candles. So you can see one side is actually photo-like and the other side is just pattern. Uh, donuts, candles, confetti, those blowy things. Don't know what they're called. Oh, hats. Okay, that is really cute. I can't wait to play with that. This is the fruit paper. Oh, see, now you understand why I had to have that fruit. How cute for summer little baskets. Oh, you know what? I'll make a little basket video for you, and we'll do some of this fun stuff. Look at this. Kiwi. Oh, so cute. And so if you don't, if you're not into the fruit right away, look, the backsides are great on these too. You'll be able to get a lot of different patterns out of this. And it's got so papaya. That's papaya, right? So many, um, oh my gosh, I should tell you a funny papaya story. There's a banana. Another time, papaya story. I promise when I make something with a papaya card, I will tell you a funny papaya story. Stick on sequins. Okay, so these sequins that match the birthday papers, um, they are adhesive on the back. So you're not going to have to monkey around with trying to get them lined up right just so on glue dots. They are already adhesive. You're going to be able to stick them right on your card. I told you magical day. Here's another celebration ribbon offering. Fun. Another couple of ribbons, which I was out of. Another card pack. All right, I know you want, you're looking at that. I'm not gonna show, men, the men paper. All right, I'll show you a couple pieces of this. I'm not supposed to be using my hand. Did I tell you about that? I'm supposed to be in a hand brace. I go back to the doctor today. He's gonna freak out on me. All right, uh, okay, let's see. Oh, so cute. Okay, seriously, who does not love that for a masculine card? Nice. Here is the magical paper. I'm not going to open this one right now because I'm getting kind of low on time, but this is, because I have a class in a few minutes, um, this is glittery. The little mermaid body is glittery. So cute. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. 
Here is another paper. Oh, this is foil. Oh, so pretty. All right, this one I am going to open because I got to see what else is in here. I just can't stand it. So I bet you wonder, how do you keep your papers together once you start cutting them? I actually put them in little plastic containers. I'll show you, actually. Um, I put them in these holders that I get, and then I put the whole pack in here. And then whenever I cut a piece, I always just stick it back in the pack, and then I can keep it together like that. Look at that. I skipped a bunch of pages, but you're going to get a feel for it. Oh, pretty. Very nice. And here is one last. No, not last. Oh, this is all black and white, but it's going to be so fun. Okay, if I can get it started here. It's all black and white, but it's going to be so, so fun. Hold on. Okay, I mangled that. All right. Uh, it's going to be fun to color, guys. We're going to be able to color with a brayer or just color with a sponge, and that's going to be fun. And, oh, here's the bottles and pop top. This is one of the celebration papers, too. This is what the catalog looks like. If you've been my customer before, you're going to get one in the mail, but if, if you come to my classes, I'll just give one to you in person. And the celebration brochure, and it starts very soon. If you saw something you love, make a note and think about it for later. If you are still looking for Christmas presents, you have until December 14th to get your order placed in order to receive them by Christmas. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm sorry, I gotta go because I have to play with this right away. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.